And this is the first time that a sitting president has been there. We've mentioned that a couple times since Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt. What's the, uh, the atmosphere, what's the attitude like of people out there right yeah. now, knowing that the president is coming there, bringing with him a lot of attention on Pine Ridge? Well, you, you know, that really is a good question. These are folks that aren't used to having the, the spotlight uh, from anyone, really. This is a, uh, a poor area in the heart of an Indian reservation. They feel a lot of times, we talked to folks yesterday, they feel a lot of times that they are the ignored segment of the state, the ignored segment of society. They say that those that do not have the money, do not have the power, do not get the attention, and that's why this initiative is needed. It, it really is kind of a 50% hopeful mix, 50% uh, cautious optimism, wait and see type of approach. Has there been any kind of a, a negative reaction yeah. that you've gotten from the people out there? I know that there have been some problems, you know, with down in the White Clay area with Nebraska, with some, so, you know, some murder investigations. We've talked about that sure. during the news. Mm -hmm. sure. But obviously this is something different, but has there been any kind of, any negative uh, response out there that you've seen? Well, you know, Scott, at least for the moment, it seems that the folks, uh, at least the folks that we talked to in Oglala, uh, really see it as two different situations. They see uh, situation number one, the activists of White Clay, and also upset about these two murder investigations they feel have been swept under the rug. But then the second situation is they really do view the president coming here as kind of a different situation with a different set of circumstances. Uh, they really are, you know... For, for, for the most part, they really are uh, optimistic. They want this to work. They need this to work. 